Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. So this is the 16th video of our newly created technical series, which is the ServiceNow and JavaScript, where we are learning the fundamental of JavaScript. We are covering topics like data types, different operators, array, loops, function, objects, classes, and many more things, right? So if you are very beginner, in programming then this series will help you to understand about fundamental of programming javascript and also if you are a service now administrator and you want to learn about service now development then this series will definitely help you because in service now development you need to know the fundamentals of javascript right so i am doing this series specially because in the next series i'm going to start which is the service now development and i want all the people who are following my channel for service now uh, you know and getting the help right and I know many of them are not good at programming or many of them has no experience in programming. So for those people, especially to get their knowledge of programming on JavaScript and then they can move to ServiceNow development very easily. Right. OK. And also I'm doing a coding exercise for whatever I'm do teaching you, whatever I'm showing you or teaching you, uh, I'm doing a coding exercise. That's a once in a week. So you can join my channel to get the benefits. And also if you join the channel, and you want to pass the CSA exam, you want to clear the CSA exam. So, so there are more than 100 questions that are available for all of you and you can practice it and then you can, and that would definitely help you to clear your CSA exam. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is my Visual Studio on the left hand side and right hand side, I have opened the console of Google Chrome where we see the output. So in the last class, which was the class 10, we have learned a very, very important concept is how we can call a function from another function. Also, we have learned about like function declaration and function expression. Now, you know, in different ways we can declare function. This is the first way and this is the second way. How important this function expression is. So I think in the last class, I have explained all the details that how you can call different functions, how you can call functions from a function, right? And I hope the concept is very much clear. So if you missed the video don't worry i'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link here on your screen right okay so what we are going to learn today so today we are going to learn another important concept let me quickly comment all those things so today in class 11 right class 11 we are going to run another important concept of any programming language not only in javascript which is the array and this concept guys trust me this is going to help you in a long run if you become web service developer mobile application developer or service now developer anything this array concept would definitely help you again i'm saying this is the fundamental concept i'm clearing of javascript especially all those concepts will help you to do some complex programming in future okay so we will learn about what is array how to declare an array how to call array and definitely i will show you some examples of array make sure you watch the full video and also also learn each and everything about array okay so now so what is an array so array is nothing but a container where you can store different type of values together so it means like you can store string type of values you can store uh, integer or the number type of values right you can store boolean values in a same container and then you can call it and then you can use those values as per your requirement you can add different type of values in the array and you can do a lot more things right and we would see how it is helpful so let me show you first how to declare an array also you'd be able to understand the structure of array so very simply i will declare a variable and maybe i will take a name of uh, so what should i say uh, maybe phone company okay so maybe this is the uh, name of the array so this is a variable now to declare an array we have to define the array in this way okay in this symbol you have to put it now inside of it i will write different phone companies maybe i'll start with samsung so okay it's a string so you know we have to define string with inside of comma then we put apple then we put maybe uh, vivo uh, maybe we can put like oneplus okay so these are the name of the phone companies so i have declared it in array now okay so in a single array name phone company i have declared four different phone companies right now here if if there is no array then you have to declare right like this way let uh, maybe first company is equal to uh, 
uh, in string Samsung like this and in the same way you will declare second company Apple third Vivo and fourth OnePlus so that is unnecessary right when we can use array like this now this is an array now let me print this array let me show you what it looks like so I will do console.log and here I'm gonna type phone company okay done if I refresh it you see I am getting the result of array Samsung Apple Vivo OnePlus now if you click on this icon you would be able to see the elements of the inside of the array so we have to remember the first element of the array this is Samsung here it defines as zero okay next one two three so total we have four different companies okay but the element of array is count as 0 1 2 3 so it starts from 0 so that's why you can see the 0 the value of 0 is Samsung 1 is Apple 2 is Volvo 3 is OnePlus right if I want to print the first element maybe so what I'm gonna do is that instead of printing the whole array I can write how you're gonna write you will write phone company there's a name of the array then you will put the symbol here again you will put the bracket here like this and here you will press 0 now if I save it and refresh it you see it is only coming Samsung so like I said the element in array starts from 0 okay so it's 1 2 3 so maybe I'll show you just type 3 then let's see it should be 1 plus so this is how inside of array elements are organized okay now this array now we are going in array later we will learn about class right so this array class object these are the part of the data structure now here in previous examples we have learned so many things like functions we call different functions and also we have learned switch statement for loop now from here we are entering inside of the data structure we are structuring the data right these are all data we are dealing with and we are structuring data so first it is the we first we are learning about the array okay how we can check the length of this full array right so now it is a 4 maybe so maybe in real world it could be any number like more than maybe 100 200 like that so how we can check the total number or the length of the array console.log and here I will put phone company dot length that's it if I refresh it you can see the length of the array is 4 1 2 3 4 so there are four elements now let me give you a very interesting example now here suppose the query suppose there are so many elements in the array and I don't know what is the I don't know the total count of the array okay so now I need to print only the last element of the array okay so all I need to do in that case I will just do console dot log and I will put the name of the array then dot length okay and then minus one so whatever the total length is the minus one would be the value right the last element because the element starts from zero so if the total count is here four then total count length that is four minus one three so it would be one plus okay so it is showing three so now uh, okay i forgot i need to just mention it like this like this line right so i need to again i'll type phone company and here i'll make it as an array and I'll close it here that's it I'll refresh it you see it's coming as one plus so this is how you get the length of the array and this is how you can get the last element of the array right this is very interesting so now let's go further okay so there are so many methods are available in array that we would discuss in the next video right otherwise this video will become so big so in next video also we are covering array but uh, I want to show you something so I will show you that okay first I need to maybe add an element okay so instead of one plus in this place that is the zero one two three in three place of phone company I need to add Nokia maybe instead of one plus how I can do that so I'll simply write phone company then then I'll put it is the zero one two three three element and equal to I'll put this time Nokia okay now again I will print the array console.log and let's see if it is updated or not so I'll print the array and you see now it is updated to Nokia it is updated to Nokia from OnePlus 
so this is how you can remove a particular element position of the element with a new value right also in the next video we will uh, know about the push and pop method right to, to add and remove value in the next video so so now let me show you some live programming things so to do that i will just copy the stuff that we have done on the last video while calling the function so this was the first function calculate age and we have another function driving license we call the calculate age function with a parameter from driving age from driving license that's a function calling from another function so what we are going to do is that so we were passing the bar here right from here so now i will declare a variable uh, which would be array type so I will declare like uh, birth year, list of birth year, okay? And equal to, I'll put it different, uh, like different birth year this time. So I'll start with 2008, maybe 1995, 1996, and 1997. This four uh, is fine for the time being. And now what I'm gonna do is that for the first time, I can now you know that the benefits of function is that it is reusable right we can call it many times we want right so we are gonna call it for the first time so calculate age and we are gonna pass this time the first value of the array there's a list of birth here this is the array name and I'm gonna pass the zero this is the first value I'm passing it here right now if I refresh it let's see what it comes sorry you are not eligible because the age is coming as 15 that's what is happening, right? 2023, the current age minus the birth year, which we are passing night 2008, right? This is the first value and it is coming as 15. Now we can pass different value this time. One we can pass and this is 28 and then it is available. It is eligible, right? So this is how we can declare different values and we can pass it. So, but when we learn for loop or while loop later in the series, then you would understand the actual use of array. So we can use a loop to check all the elements of the array and do a lot more stuff, right? So this is just the example that how you can use uh, the array inside of a function, right? And then you send the value of the element of the array instead of the tidy direct number. Okay, so in the next class, we would understand more about different array methods and we would implement, we would continue to implement about this calculate age and driving license function and we would see how we can do that, right? So if you find this video helpful, guide, hit the like button. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment and don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye. Take care.